So I recently went to the Nike employee store and cashed out on a couple different items. I wanted to show you guys those items in this video. What is going on guys, Has here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna check this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. And also, just a heads up, Nike is having an extra 25% off of clearance sale, so I posted a ton of different deals on there. There is no code needed right now, all you do is add to cart, and then when you check out, the additional discount will be applied. Super steals uh, going on right now on Nike.com, so check that out. <laughs> Anyways, in this video I have a Nike employee store haul and I'm excited to show you guys the things that I ended up picking up from the employee store. Big shout out to Audrey for hooking up the employee store pass for myself. Audrey reached out to me on Instagram and for those that follow me on Instagram and have reached out on direct message, I never ever reply. There's like probably one out of um, 3,000 messages I reply back to. Most of them I don't even look, to be fair. Um, it's not that I'm trying to ignore you on purpose, it's just I just don't have enough time to filter through and look, unfortunately. So if there's anything that you really need to address, email is the best way possible to reach me. But anyway, thank you to her for actually hooking this up. And because of that, I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up getting from the haul. Before I get started, I got one thing from Kith right here, this little box. This is something I'm excited to show you guys though because this is really for Harrison, my son. And you can see it comes in the wrapping paper. They didn't put in any bags or anything. Super limited runs of this, but I had to pull the trigger and get Harrison one of these hoodies for the future. The retail on this was crazy expensive. I think it was, yeah, so $80, the most expensive hoodie I've ever bought Harrison, but um, he's gonna grow into this one and hopefully he'll end up liking it. So you can see it is the Elmo Cookie Monster split face hoodie that they were selling. I don't even know who this is, Berg, Bergor Goodman or something like that. He is, like I guess, the collaborator with Jim Henson on this Sesame Street thing. To be fair, I didn't know that Jim Henson was Sesame Street. I don't know. They did the Muppets. I knew that. I didn't know about Sesame Street. But cool looking hoodie, and hopefully the wife or the kid will be able to rock this one. Hopefully Harrison won't mind this one when he's this size, because you know how they get with their little attitudes. Once he gets this big, he's going to be like, I don't like Sesame Street. But, uh, but cool nonetheless, I thought it would be fun. And then for myself, and then you could see for the t-shirt, the there's more of the Jim Henson sort of stuff. Actually, I didn't even really realize this when I bought this, that there is, uh, who is that? Kermit and Cookie Monster and a bunch of the other just random Jim Henson characters on the shirt. So pretty cool. If you hear that in the background, the dogs are going in and out of the dog door, but that's just because they have to go to the potty. But these kit t-shirts are super nice quality, so I plan on getting more of these as uh, I can, basically. They're kind of hard to, to get your hands on, but, um, but yeah, I'm super excited for this one, and I'm, I'm glad that I was able to pick up a couple of these items from this collection. Not one of those um, ones that most people really want because it's not just a regular Kith logo uh, t-shirts, but uh, for me, this one spoke to me, obviously, because of the kids. So that is that. Let's go ahead and get into these. So I ended up picking up a couple of the items in the store. They had a ton of different things there, though. Um, some of it was on the back of the hash wall and I didn't end up picking up, but but you could see in some of these pictures they're pretty awesome stuff. And a little bonus for you guys, this guy was actually there walking around with a security guy. If you guys know who he is, leave a comment in the comment section with his name. But here we go, let's go ahead and check these out. First couple items. So I kind of went in on the socks again. I kind of do this thing where I just literally throw all of my socks out and then start fresh and new and then have all the same uniform socks because sometimes I have four different four or five different types of the low cut socks from Nike. This is the ones that I like the most with the dry fit. Um, I didn't realize these were so expensive, but yeah, so I got quite a few of these as you can see here. Um, hopefully I got the right sizes. I got the wrong sizes. I got the wrong sizes. Uh, so maybe the wife is gonna get these, oh no. So there's two different sizes. There's the men's uh, eight to 12, and then there's the men's six to eight which is also the women's six to 10. And so far it looks like the wife is winning. Oh no. Well, you know, she wanted to clear out all of her socks. So this is the way it weighs out. These are my two and all these are the wife's. Ah oh, man, she's gonna be happy though cause uh, she'll have a bunch of nice clean socks and then she can match. So she's basically doing what I would have wanted to do. Be a, 
big fail. <laughs> anyway, so uh, those are the socks that I failed on. This is a pair that I honestly would have passed on at retail. I did pass on it out in retail, but because uh, they had them there, I was like, you know what, I might as well scoop up a pair. And just for those people that follow me on Twitter, I did say that I, I was like, am I the only YouTuber that like did not get seated a pair from this Gatorade Like Mike collection from Jordan Brand? Because it seems like every YouTuber got seated some capacity of something from Jordan Brand or Chance Sports or whatever it was. I didn't get anything, uh, but I did buy this one because this was the closest one where I liked the colors. This is actually cool. I didn't know it actually came in just a general release pair with a uh, Gatorade towel. That's kind of rad. Do I like this collection in general? Man, it's okay. I mean, I like the concept of it. Obviously, growing up, um, being like Mike and the commercials and hearing the theme song and whatever was just dope. But um, I think they oversaturated and overdid it though. Let's show you ones I got. Let's keep bla quit blabbing. I went with the orange pair. I do realize that the yellow pair was the most limited, but to be fair, I didn't, I didn't want the yellow pair. Uh, the orange pair was the only one I was interested in because obviously it is the Oregon State Beaver sort of colorway with being orange. It has a Gatorade logo on the bottom. And looking at this, the leather quality is actually really, really nice. And here you guys go for those people that are gonna be asking the quality between the shattered backboard versus this. It's pretty good here, but it's not shattered backboard quality, which is actually the ones I ended up wearing in the store. And look at this. This is what happens when you wear them in Oregon in the, in the rain. So some were gonna say shattered backboard quality on here. I don't think so, not, not really that close. Shattered backboard is definitely better, but this is really good. This is better than the average pair of Jordan 1s. So, so I will be a little bit of a hype beast and say yes, the Air Jordan 6 Gatorade colorway is definitely the best out of the entire pack of Gatorade inspired sneakers. That's just my opinion, but mainly because of the quality looks really, really nice on the green pair. I don't even like really the green pair. I do think that the, the theme that they ended up going with on the green pair makes the most sense, but I personally would love to see an orange pair in the sixes with that orange suede that would be just ridiculous. That would have been my favorite if the orange and the green were flip-flop. That would have been just killer, but uh, this was the best one in my opinion. Did you guys cop the Gatorade pack or not? Did you guys cop it and now that they didn't sell out. Are you planning on returning them? I have a feeling a lot of people are going to end up doing that because they didn't end up selling out. 175 retail price. Resale is like 200 something on them. Anyway, let's go ahead and get in some of the other ones I ended up picking up. This one is a pair that I'm excited to give a try. And this is the Kyrie 4. So as soon as I saw them in person, I was like, yeah, I'm going to cop these. I like this colorway. Black, white, super simple. Has that kind of Barkley inspired theme, it looks like, on the front section. There's actually a dude named Ben that um, I don't know him very well personally, but I know I have friends of friends that help design these. And if you guys actually want me to reach out to him and see if he'd be willing to do like an interview or something like that in person with the Kyrie 4, leave a comment and I will reach out to the people and see if he would be willing to go on record and talk about his design with the Kyrie Force. But I will follow up on the channel and do a detailed review of these, so stay tuned for that. And I ended up getting a pair of the Shield Pegasus for the mother-in-law because she was requesting this pair right here. So final bag. What will we get? I got one more pair of socks. Is it mine or uh, not the wife's? Shoot. I always loved the Hurley stuff, so I ended up getting this t-shirt. Like the overall look of this one uh, with the sun and the waves. This is probably the, the best item that I ended up getting out of the entire group. And I got it for the wife. And I don't think, I don't honestly think she's gonna like these. But um, I couldn't pass them up because they had them in her size. And here we have it. So they had the silver bullet joints in the wife's size. They had them in GS, they didn't have them in men's. I did hear they had them in men's a couple weeks ago and they sold out pretty quick. But uh, since I ended up getting my pair, I figured if I can get hers for like 40% off, I might as well. So 40% off of retail on these. And uh, actually the receipt I stuffed in here. And let's see how much that was total. Whoa. I don't know if this is right. Whoa. So, holy crap. They gave me these for $48. It was Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, $80, and then minus the 40% discount from the employee store, which was $32, and it was $48. <laughs> how? in the world did I get these for $48. Retail in the box is $175. Uh, I feel kind of dirty. These were cheaper than the Kyries. The Kyries were 72. 
and the Pegasus were 75. These ones were 160 minus 64. So the final price was 96 bucks. So these were only $96 for the wife and I thought this was a good purchase so I ended up going with it. I did not realize that these were only $48. Uh, I didn't check the receipt honestly until right now so that is crazy. Uh, yikes, I feel like I won on that one. I feel dirty though for keeping those. I feel like I, maybe I should go back and get a return but they rung it up. It wasn't rung up as a discount or anything like that or, and, or a kid size or anything. So I don't know how that worked out, but I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think I should do. Should I take them back and give them the rest of their money for this pair or should I just take the money and run? To be fair, if I don't take these back and get them for the actual price it should have been, you guys already know I'm going to dump money back into the company one way or the other. But still, really crazy that I ended up getting these for so cheap. Uh, the last two pairs, I ended up getting kind of a his and hers sort of thing. Because I wanted to give these a fair shake, and there we go. So I ended up getting the triple black Nike Zoom Fly, and this shoe is one of those shoes that I think is really comfortable, and probably slept on by most sneakerheads at this point. I do have the uh, Zoom Vaporfly 4% as well, and then I do have the Zoom Fly SPs, but I haven't actually tried this model. I tried this on in-store, and I was instantly sold. I wasn't sure if I was gonna buy it, Last pair I ended up picking up. As soon as I tried it on, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm copping one for me. And then I ended up copping one for the wife as well in this colorway. Kind of like a, I don't even know what the colorway is. What is this? Province purple. But it looked really clean and I figured the wife would like this one. And since she actually runs, she'll be able to run in that one. I ran into a guy in the store named Peter, I believe his name was, and he was wearing the SP version of these and he had the regular ones. He said that he used them actually for running and he goes between this and the Pegasus. So I figured it was a safe bet for the wife to get these ones and then maybe I can finally start running and then I will uh, try these ones for running for myself or the 4% because I already have those ones as well. So that's pretty much the haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys had a good Christmas. We're gonna have a good New Year's. Check the channel. I have a bunch of content coming to you guys really soon. Anyways, just a quick note. If you guys check collectivekicks.com in the description, check out Nike clearance sale going on right now. You can get a ton of great deals for super cheap. I listed out a bunch of shoes for like 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars. So there's a whole bunch of different options out there for you guys to be able to shop on Nike clearance. Honestly, you can get prices on certain products for lower than what I got from the employee store uh, because it's deep discounted from stuff that's already on clearance and then taking an extra 25%. So happy shopping online if you guys find anything. It is Nike US for those asking. I don't know if the other sites actually are doing it out of the US. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you guys want to check the screen at this time, you can click any of the videos and go check out those videos. Subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post videos. Blah, 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 right? Uh, anyway, thank you guys again. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.